If you're a OneNote user, you may have noticed a section for Quick Notes. You may have seen it as a section within your main notebook or at the bottom of your notebook navigation pane. Quick Notes are great in that they are easy to access, simple to use, and they sync across all your devices. Today, we're going to explore everything about Quick Notes, how to use them, their benefits, and some creative ways you can incorporate them directly into your daily workflow. Imagine you're in the middle of something important and suddenly a brilliant idea pops into your mind or you remember an essential task. You need to jot it down quickly without losing your flow. This is exactly where Quick Notes comes in. Quick Notes are essentially the digital equivalent of sticky notes. They're small, instant, and can be created with a simple shortcut no matter what you're doing on your computer. They're on standby to capture anything from a sudden thought to an important reminder. Think of regular notes in OneNote as your detailed notebook pages. They're where you can get really organized with sections and pages for different projects, topics, or subjects. They're your go-to for in-depth note-taking, extended writing, and complex organization. Quick notes, on the other hand, as I mentioned earlier, are like the sticky notes of the digital world. They're designed for speed and convenience. When you don't have time to flip to the right section or page, Quick Notes are there for that rapid capture of information. I often use Quick Notes as sort of my inbox or temporary holding place, and any important information is eventually moved over to the appropriate OneNote section or page. So to recap, Quick Notes are for speed and spontaneity, and regular notes are for depth and organization. So what are some of the use cases for Quick Notes? Quick Notes are our digital lifesaver when it comes to capturing fleeting thoughts. A classic use is for jotting down random ideas that come to mind, those light bulb moments that you don't want to forget. They're also perfect for those to-do lists to keep us on track. With Quick Notes, you can quickly type up tasks as they come up. And if you want to add the task to your Microsoft to-do, you can simply add the Outlook task flag. You can capture phone numbers, email addresses, or quick links to resources. In the rush of a conversation or while browsing, Use a Quick Note to keep that information without breaking your stride. Lastly, Quick Notes can be a great tool for personal reflection. You can capture things like good things that just happened or use it to capture events and incidents that will make a good story later. It's a small way to keep your spirit up and to reflect on the positive. You can get to your Quick Notes in several different ways. If you're already in your OneNote notebook, you can simply go to View, then choose New Quick Note. But I think this defeats the purpose. Let's say you're doing something else, like browsing the web. And if you want to jot down a quick idea, you can hit the shortcut key, Windows, Alt, and N. And that'll bring up the Quick Note. And more recently, Microsoft have introduced an enhanced note-taking experience for Quick Notes. As you can see, we have these additional text formatting tools like bold, italic, and underline, and we can even highlight portions of the text. We have to-do checkboxes, lists, and number lists. And also, if you're using a pen tablet or a device that accepts ink tools, you can also mark up screenshots or documents directly within Quick Notes. And then lastly, you can also copy and paste a screen capture directly into your Quick Notes. If you want to navigate to where you've saved all of the Quick Notes, you can launch your Quick Notes, go to the Overflow menu, and then choose Open in OneNote. And here you can see all of the Quick Notes that we've captured. Or you can simply open the Notebook Navigation pane and at the bottom, you can see there's a section for Quick Notes. And I'll click on that, and that'll take us to the Quick Notes section as well. If you use multiple devices, like a work laptop and a home computer, it's crucial that you have the correct settings for the Quick Notes so that they're accessible across all these devices. Because Quick Notes section is typically assigned to the first notebook you create in OneNote, you may find that your default notebook may be different in each of the computer you use. This means that you may have multiple Quick Notes sections and they're not be accessible across devices. For example, this is my desktop PC. 
I click on my quick notes and I see a few notes. But when I go to my laptop and choose quick notes from there, I see a different set of notes. That's because these quick notes sections are actually stored in different notebooks. I can confirm that by going to File, Options, and Save and Backup. So on my desktop PC, my quick notes section is saved in my default notebook folder. We can navigate to it on our file explorer, and you see that it's there. If we double click on it, it takes us to the section in OneNote. On my laptop, however, my quick notes path is entirely different. It's actually saved in my OneDrive. If you want all your computers to have a single source for quick notes and sync across devices, we need to make a simple change. On each of the computer, go to File, Options, and Save and Backup, then hit Modify. Now you can choose a notebook and section where you want your quick notes to be saved. I'm going to choose my Areas Notebook and Inbox section. It's important to choose a notebook that is saved on the cloud, like OneDrive or SharePoint folder. This will ensure that we can get to the Quick Notes from other devices as well. Now, let's do the same from my laptop. Go to File, Options, and Save and Backup. Hit Modify, then choose my Areas Notebook and Inbox section. Now my quick notes are linked to the inbox section of the areas notebook. And if I create a quick note on one computer, I can see it on the other computer. Okay, so that's how you can set up and use quick notes in OneNote. I would love to hear how you're using quick notes in your workflow. Please share it in the comments below. If you're interested in other OneNote tutorials, be sure to check out these videos next.